Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines, Tuning and Marine. In this video, I'm going to be putting the oil pan on the bottom of a Mercruiser 3.0 liter engine. And in the process, I've been uh, prepping it uh, to put the oil pan on. So what I've done so far is I've put the rear main oil seal on and uh, I cleaned it up very good. And uh, put there's a paper gasket. In the uh, that's the lower, This is the oil pan, basically the oil pan gasket. This is called like, this the lower half of the engine gasket set. It's kind of expensive. It's about $65 for that set of gaskets. Of course, there's a few missing from what I've already used, but that's pretty much it. So one of the gaskets that comes in that set right there is uh, the gasket that goes between this rear main seal and the block. And I've already put it in, and uh, I put gray silicone seal up between the, the block, the gasket, and then the, the seal, put it on, bolted it up. These bolts, there are four bolts in the corners, or there's four bolts in the back, and they take 135 inch pounds to seal it up. Um, sorry I didn't show that video. I'm kind of in a hurry to get this done. So um, to get that rear main seal on, I had to take the engine off of the uh, engine stand. Um, what I do is I have this chain above me, and uh, I come along and I hook the. Uh, I keep a I keep a clean chain hanging on a nail over here, so that if I need a, uh, to hook up something and keep it clean, I just use my clean chain. And uh, once I hook the chain, a leg of cloth or, or cover over the engine, put the chain on, and then I use my come along to lift the engine. So I lift the engine up, pull the back uh, engine stand bracket off the engine, and then put the seal on and put it all back together. That's, there's, no, there's no other way to get this seal inside here unless you take this bracket off. So now it's back on the stand, and uh, what I'm about to do now is mount the oil pump. The oil pump goes right here. And once I get the oil pump mounted, I will then... Uh, uh, put the oil pan on. Um, before I mount the oil pump, I'm cleaning it. So this is the oil pump. This is a three three liter oil pump. It's very similar to the V8 and 4.3 oil pumps you see. Um, the only difference I notice is uh, there's a gasket here on this flange here, and uh, I don't typically see gaskets on the other oil pumps I do. But um, so I've got disassembled. I've cleaned it out with. Uh, I use Shout because um, it's biodegradable. I think I don't know. But I use shout and water to clean things like this after I pour the majority of the oil out. Um, you could use gunk. I do have some gunk over there. I keep gunk for the hard stuff to get that won't come out with shout. But um, for the most part, uh, my sink is tied to it. The reason I use shout is my sink is tied to a septic system, and I don't want to run the gunk, uh, the gunk wastewater down into the septic system. I'm not sure how, how bad it would do to kill the bacteria in there. But anyway, um, so at this time, I'm fixing to reassemble the oil pump. And... Uh, I'm gonna see if there's a gasket over there in that set for this oil pump. If not, I'm just gonna, I, I kind of was careful. I, re, I didn't destroy the gasket, so I'll have to reuse it if I can't find another one. But it's it's under, it's in oil, submerged in the oil pan, so I don't know why you need a gasket in the first place, but they put one on there, so I'll put it back in. So the gears are over there, I'll blow dry them. There's the cover, I gotta clean it off first, and then I'll, I'll put it all back together and uh, mount it on the engine. One additional point about the oil pump. So um, apparently there was a gasket in the uh, there was a gasket in the uh, gasket set that I bought. So I will change it out since it's I may never get see the light of day again. Um, and uh, let me show you. So this is the cover, and you see there's a little bit of wear pattern on the cover there, and that's fine. Um, a lot of times when you put things back together, if you're not sure about how they go back together, look at the wear pattern. The wear pattern will tell you where how it was. For example, here's the gears. <clears throat> this gear here is obvious. It, it goes back in, the shaft goes down the hole. This is the drive gear or the driven gear. It's driven by the distributor shaft and it goes in the, in the oil, pan, oil pump first. Um, the other gear is not so obvious. So um, this is the idler gear, if they call it. And what you can do is look at the wear pattern on it and try to see the, the shiny sides where it's been touched by other gear. And um, you can tell from from this gear by looking at it that it's been rotating. Let's see which side. This camera's kind of hard to see it. Um, there it is. So it's been rotating this way towards me because the shiny side's right there. The dull side's back here. The shiny side has been rotating like this. So you can look at the other gear and see the mating. The mating side would also be shiny, and that's how you can tell how it went in. So I'm about to put this oil pump back together, and once it's uh, put together, I'll bolt it onto the engine. I've now torqued the, uh, or installed the oil pan on the block, and I torqued each one of these bolts to 120 inch pounds. And I used a blue Loctite on the threads so they won't back out. 
So the oil pump's now installed, and now I'm gonna uh, put the oil pan gasket on, and uh, I'm gonna seal silicone seal it um, in certain places. I hadn't figured out where I'm gonna put it yet. I've now laid out the oil pan gasket on the motor uh, before I put the oil pan on, and um, I'm just trying to figure out where I'm gonna put sealant. So I'm gonna put gray silicone sealant in this corner, underneath the, underneath the gasket in this corner, and on top of it, actually. And just around to about right here on the corner, I'm gonna smear a thin layer all the way across here, underneath the gasket. Same thing over here, going to the corner and smear it out to about right there. And then back here, I'm gonna put silicone just in the corner, underneath this gasket, right there in the corner. Then underneath this gasket, all the way over to here, and underneath that corner, and then uh, the, and then out just out to the this where this rear seal met the block, out to that line right there, and then I'll stop. I'm not gonna put any seal under this part here or over here. So it looks like it's gonna make a good seal anyway. This big gasket has some, some uh, metal rings that keep you from over tightening and squeezing the gasket out. That's pretty neat. These rings are basically a stop so that the um, gasket can't be over compressed. So I'm about to put the silicone on here now and then I'll put the oil pan on. I've already cleaned the oil pan. The oil pan's right here. And uh, I've cleaned it and dried it out and it's ready to go on. So what we're gonna do next, and then uh, we'll get this thing closed up. Ultra gray silicone sealant. And I put it on in the corners, both on underneath and on top of the gasket. I smeared it across the top and then in that corner over there. And then on the back, same thing. Underneath the gasket in the corners, all the way across the top, but top and bottom, and in the corners. And the reason I put it here is because that's a low point and, and oil's gonna, if oil's gonna come out, it's gonna come out in the low points. This is, the engine's upside down, so that right here is a low point, and so is that, that's a low point. So that's why I put the extra seal on there. Um, kind of acts like a glue. Um, this gasket has little rubber, uh, I wanna call it nubs or, or stubs that fit inside holes, and it's kind of tricky to get them all in there all at one time, but I, I managed to do it. But, you need to be careful not squish the nub underneath the gasket. Go ahead and get it into the hole in the metal. So this piece here wants to ride up. So push it back down. So this time I'm gonna set the gasket on top of this uh, gasket, or excuse me, set the oil pan on top of this gasket and uh, start passing everything down. There, the bolts here, from here all the way to here, and from there to there are all the same. They're short. They're little uh, short. They're little short uh, screws like this right here. The ones in the corners, here and here, are longer because they have to go through the, a thicker part of the oil pan. And then, of course, you got nuts that go on this. There's a stud here and a stud there, and that gets a nut. And then an extra, a larger bolt that goes here and right there. And I will be putting blue Loctite on all the all the screws that hold this oil pan. All right, the oil pan is now installed and uh, I've torqued all the uh, screws down. So this bolt I uh, torqued down to 135, no, let's see, 80 inch pounds on this one, 45 inch pounds on that one, 15 inch pounds all the way across to here, and then 135 inch pounds on that one. 135 inch pounds there, 15 all the way across here, 80 here, and 45 there. So the oil pan is now installed. And um, I'm gonna flip it over and start installing the cylinder head. So I'll, that wrap, this wraps up the video for the uh, oil pan installation on a Merc Cruiser 3.0 liter engine. If you found this video beneficial or enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it very much. Thanks for watching.